Welcome to LearnFalcon.com. Uh, this series of videos accompanies the blog posts found on www.learnfalcon.com. And in this first video, I'm going to uh, follow the blog post installing the Falcon PHP extension. So I'm not going to read it out, but I'm going to do the steps that are here. Um, so the first thing involved in um, figuring out which version of the PHP extension is to uh, fire up your, your web server. I'm using XAMPP, so I have Apache running and MySQL. Uh, and if you go into the dashboard or the, the, the home page, you'll see PHP info. Now, it's a big, long page, but right at the beginning, uh, about 15, 20 lines down, you'll see a line PHP extension build. And this tells you what you need to know. This is VC14. And two lines after that, you'll see thread safety. And in my case, it's enabled. So it'll be either enabled or disabled. And armed with these two pieces of information, I can figure out which version of the Falcon uh, PHP extension to download to run in my Windows environment. So I'm going up to GitHub. So I'm just going to Google GitHub Falcon where all of the source code is hosted. And uh, there's a number of different aspects to the Falcon project. There's the framework itself and then the uh, programming language Zephyr and DevTools. We'll get to those later. But uh, for now, let's go to CFalcon, which is the, the main extension. And the source code is here, but we, we're interested in the compiled version of the source code. So if we go to releases, and in the releases page, you'll see uh, the latest version of Falcon is version 3.31. And there's 64-bit uh, and 32-bit versions here. I'm running 64-bit Windows, but my version of XAMPP is a 34-bit version, a 32-bit version. So I know it's VC14 and it's thread safe. So the two versions of VC14 here for a 32-bit version of XAMPP are these two. And this one is the NTS, the non-thread safe. So if thread safe is disabled, you'll pick this one. In my case, I pick this one. I'm going to download it, show it in a folder, extract here. Uh, I've already done this, so it's just going to replace the one that's there. And the only thing that's in this is single file uh, along with the license, which is php underscore falcon dot dll. So I'm going to right click and copy that and put it where it needs to be, which is in the extensions folder. So I have that. Um, Apache installed under ZAMP, which is in C slash ZAMP, slash PHP EXT is where all of the extensions, there's a whole bunch of other DLL files in here. So that's uh, a good part of it done, but we need to um, make sure that the settings file knows it's there. So if you go back to the PHP folder under ZAMP, or under your uh, whichever version of, of Apache you have installed, and look for php.ini. So in Windows, it's represented as a little uh, file with a little cog on it, a little cog icon there. So and it says uh, configuration files. So I'm going to right click on this and open it in Notepad++, but whatever editor you prefer. And I'm going to search as a big long file with a lot of settings in it. I'm just need to find the extension section. So search for extension uh, equals. Oh, I spelled that wrong. Okay, so this is the extensions part. And if I scroll down a little bit, you'll see there's a whole list of extensions. Some of them are commented out. Uh, and we want to follow the format that's here. So we say extension equals php underscore falcon dot dll. I've noticed in the uh, most recent version of Apache, um, they've dropped the requirement to put dot dll. So uh, watch out for that. Just follow the format that's there. So save that. And now we have to restart the web server so it'll pick up on those changes. So I'm going to stop the web server and start it up again. And now if I go back to my uh, PHP info page and refresh it, uh, we should see Falcon down under. This is alphabetical, so down under P. All has gone well. There we go. So there's now a Falcon 
setting uh, setting section in the PHP info page because the Falcon extension is loaded. If it didn't work, you won't see this section. It probably, it may or may not give you an error message when you try to start the web server, but this is how you know it works. So if you made some slight mistake with the version, uh, you won't see this. So that's the end of the first video, and um, we'll join me in the next video for um, how to actually uh, download the dev tools and get started using Falcon.